Now, here's meteorologist Michelle Muscatello with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. It's been a little damp so far this morning. Showers have been very light in nature and they continue to move through our area as we head into this afternoon. You can see this line of light green stretching across a Bristol County mass all the way down across Narragansett Bay and through South County and you can focus in here Charlestown getting a little damp right now out towards Westerly and Mesquamacate. We're seeing some up again Narragansett Bay through Bristol Ocean Grove crossing Route 6 there and it is generally light but this sort of off and on shower activity is going to be come the norm here through the rest of the day today and through the daytime tomorrow. Temperature wise very mild. We're in the upper 50s to near 60 right now in Providence. Newport 61 the temperature in New Bedford. It's 62 in Plymouth, 57 westerly and 55 degrees in Groton. And again you can see those temperatures as we take a closer look here running well above our average high which is only in the mid 40s for early December. Bus stop this afternoon in that same temperature range. A few showers 58 to 63 for your temperature. I want to show you that there is more activity off to our west. So if it's not raining in your area right now, you can see these showers over Pennsylvania and parts of the D.C. area that are going to try to track up to the northeast. It's all happening along and ahead of this cold front, which is just crawling towards the coastline. And it's why, because it's still going to be working its way off the coast tomorrow, that we're going to be keeping the threat of showers in our forecast. Big temperature changes on either side of the front. To the east of the front, the air unseasonably warm, 50s and 60s. Behind the front, it gets noticeably cooler, still in the 30s across the Great Lakes and now a good part of the Ohio Valley. Future cast as we go into uh, this afternoon, continuing to show those off and on showers. That's going to continue for the evening commute. This is 6.30 at night, so heading home, you may have to occasionally have the windshield wipers on. And overnight tonight, you may still hear the... Uh, Drops of rain hitting your rooftop 7 o'clock in the morning. Uh, we'll, we'll see some lulls in between, but more showers again on the way for Wednesday, especially as the day goes on. This is Wednesday afternoon, 2 o'clock, and it's still just plain old rain. Another wave of low pressure that will develop along this front as it does. Possibly enough cool air coming in northwest of Providence to see a brief change over to some wet snow or mix with some wet snow. At this point does not look to be anything major for our area. For this afternoon, just plain rain showers, upper 50s to low 60s for your temperatures. Coventry at about 62, while northern suburbs, the highs coming in at 61 in Burville, 63 in Johnston, cloudy, a bit muggy. Those off and on showers, and they'll continue Seekonk, Fall River, and New Bedford. Scattered showers for the evening commute, about 57 to 61. And then overnight tonight, very mild again. Temperatures will spend much of the night in the low 50s. Your seven-day future cast. Temps will hold steady, even fall a few degrees through the daytime tomorrow. Thursday, we may again start the day with a few wet snow showers before the storm moves out of here. And it does look dry for Thursday afternoon. Still looking at a cool weekend. Highs only at about 40 to 42.